Hi everyone, this is a tutorial from TWBIconcepts.com. In this tutorial today, we will learn the ETL implementation of loading a fact table. In this particular scenario, we are considering a sales fact table which is of incident fact type. And we are going to consider change data extraction or capture from the source based on the batch load control table. Let's go and check the ETL implementation using SAP data services. Over here the initialization script takes care of the last date of extraction which is captured in a global variable $CDC date and we will be using this global variable to extract the new transactions from the transactional table in the source in our data flow. This is how the data flow design looks like. After the sales source table which is a transactional table we are using a query transform. Inside the query transform we have a while clause based on the last updated date column of the sales table. Next we are going to take the lookup of the dimensional tables in order to get the surrogate key based on the source natural keys present in the transactional table. So first of all we are taking a lookup on the customer dimension table which is of SCD type 2 hence along with the source natural key that is the source customer ID we are also ensuring that the active flag is equal to y and we want to return that record and the corresponding surrogate key from the customer dimension table. Next we are performing another lookup function call on the product dimension table based on the source product key and we are in return we are taking the product key which is the surrogate key from the dimension table and finally based on the sales date we are looking up the dimension date dimension table and correspondingly we are returning the date key from the date dimension. So basically all the related surrogate keys from the dimensional table related in the transaction along with the measures coming in here in this case quantity is a measurable field which uh, signifies the number of product purchased by the customer we are going to populate in our fact table and when it comes to performance during lookup we are using currently the preload cache as you have seen over here we are using, we are using preload cache but in case also for much more optimized performance we may also go for a database direct hit lookup or we can also go for a persistent cache lookup and it depends on scenario and we will learn even in our next chapters later how to implement a persistent lookup cache in data services and that's it after a little bit of formatting of the columns we are loading it into what final fact table this is how the fact table looks like and we are using the basic error handling using uh, overflow file so in case during insertion if there is any rejection that happened in the during the fact table loading it will be captured in our overflow file and that's it for the design of the data flow for loading a fact table and finally we have the catch block to handle any error or exception followed by a final script if everything goes fine we will mark the batch load control table as success as we have done previously for so many uh, examples while loading the dimension table the same applies for the fact table loading also and that's it for any questions please visit dwbiconcepts.com thank you